Hello, what up guys? How you doing? It is Lasty here. Welcome to Monday's video. Now, on Saturday night, I believe it was, 92 rated Futty's Alessandrini was released as an SBC. Now, he was slightly more expensive than the previous, like, Futty's players have been. You know, um, Lozano was like an 85 rated squad. Typically, we have like 85 or 86 rated squads. Well, it was an 87 rated squad for Alessandrini, uh, and that might have put a few of you off. So, my mission today in this little ongoing mini series that I've been doing over some of the Futties players and stuff is to try and work out whether or not Alessandrini's the GOAT. Is he the greatest uh, and, and is he someone worthy of your ultimate team? So we'll do that today by building a squad with him and then I'll show you some of the goals that I was able to get with the team uh, and I'll sort of review him as the video goes on. If you do enjoy, hit me with that thumbs up button and don't forget to subscribe to the channel if you're new. FIFA 19 is like just around the corner guys, a month and, and a and a little bit, a month and a slither away. So, uh, just you know, stick with me. Uh, this is <laughs> we'll we'll be back on firing with content soon enough. So, um, in goal I had Alison, uh, and then the defense is is pretty stacked. I'm not gonna lie. I've got Jordan Lukaku, Fatty's winner at left back, uh, who is a monster. I really like him up there with some of the best like left back action in the game. Uh, we then have Josh Kimmich. Now uh, I rate him, but he's he's not like as quick as some of the the crazy high rated uh, fullbacks the game but he's someone that could is so super versatile could genuinely play anywhere uh, and he links up with Naldo or uh, Ronaldo Aparecido Rodriguez probably pronounced that horribly uh, but massive center back lots of pace and then of course uh, linking him to Costas Manolas 80 at uh, 88 pace on the 92 rated Greek centre back who plays for Roma. Low high work rate, six foot two. Like it, it's genuinely one of the more perfect uh, centre backs on the game. Linked with Naldo, like it's a great, great duo. Now, um, the defence is stacked like that, so we now move on to the midfield, and it's it's nearly perfection. Uh, these are three of my favourite centre mids in the game. Uh, only other ones that could definitely make it in would be the likes of Nine Golan or Kante, people like that. Uh, but Rude Hullet is pretty much a staple in any of the super squad midfields on FIFA 18. Uh, you will see the pros still use him at the final event and stuff. Like, he is the one that you need to get in your squad. Uh, and then on the theme of trying to fit in quite a, a whole bunch bunch of uh, the, the Futties winner cards. I've got Timmy Bakayoko into the team. Uh, 92 defending, 94 physical. I've used him a fair amount since he came out. Uh, and just like the few videos there where you've seen Lukaku and Manalas, like, yeah, I still super rate them and they are great end game players. Uh, Leon Goretzka makes his way into the squad. Now, ignore the price that I paid. I was an idiot and bought him during like peak, peak tots. Uh, whereas he's a lot cheaper than that. I think he's in the 100Ks right now. Like, you can get him for 150 or something which is mental considering the stats that he's got he's nearly a member of club 90 just being three physical two defending and one dribbling away that's very very close uh, and the guy's got insane stats so that's the defense that's the midfield uh, it's time to put in one of the most meta attacks that you could possibly get um, and that being with the two Frenchmen and then well an absolute beast up top so we've got Anthony Martial everyone at the start of the game uh, when you had that meta squad in the 4-3-2-1 Everyone had Alessandrini and everyone had Martial in their team. Like regular versions or the first in form for Alessandrini, right? Um, and regular Martial, super OP. This particular Martial, crazy, crazy good as well. Uh, but today's video is all about this man right here. The Frenchman who plays for LA Galaxy, Roman Alessandrini. 99 pace, 95 dribbling, 94 shooting, 91 passing, 86 physical. With four star skills and weak foot, those are his in-game stats right there. They're looking pretty ridiculous, like so many dark green stats, really high 90s, you know, yes, it is crazy, EA have gone pretty mad with the in-game stats on this player, um, and I guess that's why it's been an 87 rated squad, you know, being a French player, he's probably a lot more usable, a lot easier to fit into a squad than someone like Lozano is, uh, just because you've got all of the festival of football, like French players as well, that you could quite easily stick into a squad and then just get this Alessandrini, uh, so I guess that's why he's priced t slightly higher, but I think you can get him for like 70 or 80,000, right? Uh, Zlatan Ibrahimovic, 96 rated with 84 pace, 94 dribbling, 96 shooting, uh, and 90 four physical on top of all of that as well as great passing and stuff probably the best Ebra we've ever seen with that 84 pace and the, and the stats that he's got 
it's it's a great lineup, uh, especially that that front three. Like it doesn't get a huge amount better than that. Yeah, you could use your icons. You could get your Ronaldo, your Ronaldinho. You could get Cristiano Ronaldo in the squad and Lionel Messi's and stuff. Um, but when you have the footies winners with the stats that they've been given, it almost like it's almost like a great cheap way to get a player like this Alessandrini. Out on the right-hand side, left-footed, four-star skills and weak foot. Very, very similar to, like, Leo Messi. Um, but if you were to pick yourself up, like, a team of the season or team of the year Messi, or should I say, the one which is out on the right-hand side, it's obviously going to cost you a lot, like a million coins or something. Whereas this Alessandrini... He kind of just fits the bill and obviously does nearly as well as Messi. I'm not saying he's better than Messi on FIFA. He might be close to being as good as Messi on FIFA just because of the way that the stats work and how overpowered and stuff he feels. So, yeah, I feel like the, the Futties overall SBCs have been great value for money. Uh, nobody complained when like Lozano cost how much he did or uh, Manolas and Vasaiko and all of those guys. Like... They were all very, very well priced. The only one that people seem to have had a bit of a problem with is this latest one, Alessandrini. And that's because when you see an 87 rated squad, you do instantly think, damn, that's very expensive. But for a 92 rated Frenchman with 99 pace and crazy, crazy stats, would you pay 70 or 80k on the market for one of them? I mean, I, I personally would. His latest inform before the footies one came out sat at around 100,000 coins, uh, and people were obviously paying paying for that. Now, I understand the difference between a position change, a striker, and, and also, you know, uh, tradable and untradable and stuff, but this is end game. We're, we're, we're almost starting to build our final squads now. We're, we're reaching our final form on this game. Um, so, to answer the question, is he the GOAT, is he the greatest... Real, real close for me. I, he's properly, properly up there. Now, uh, the right-hand side is somewhere where I've struggled a little bit more this year. Uh, because the left-hand side, you have your human son, you have your Ronaldinho, your Cristiano Ronaldo, your Martial, your Leon Bailey. All of these like ridiculous cards. Memphis Depay, Lamar. Like, some really, really stacked players with some ridiculous stats. Now, out on the right-hand side, it's been a little bit more sparse. It's been a little bit more... Uh, or a little less populated with these crazy, crazy players. Because, uh, I don't know. I don't know why, but it just has been for me. Like, obviously, yeah, we've had the Messies and stuff this year. Um, but there's there's no, never been anyone that I'm super happy with, apart from, like, Lozano or Alessandrini, to go out on the right-hand side of my squad. Uh, Sterling came in during Team of the Season and definitely filled that role nicely for me. Um, but... Yeah, Alessandrini's always been a favourite all game long and, and, and for that particular position on the right hand side where there isn't as much opportunity as there is on the left hand side, I think this player uh, really does fit the bill and, and you might not want to call him the greatest uh, but he, he he's definitely up there as one of the most usable and ridiculous players that we've had this year uh, and... It seems odd that the Futties is going to wrap up with uh, with, with goalkeeper. Uh, you know, it, it didn't really go out. We're not going to really go out on a high because I imagine Begovic is going to win that one, right? Um, but the the last outfield player has been Roman Alessandrini, and and that's quite a good way to go because you know Futties is all about the most popular players on the game, right? And it, it's a chance for us to get special versions of OP players which don't necessarily get loads of special items. And you know, like we didn't get Eric Bailly this year; uh, we got somebody else. Uh, we got Manalas instead of Bailly, I'm pretty sure, uh, and and that's crazy to me uh, because. Last year we were we were saying and I said it in my Premier League video the other day about how all of this stuff ended up just being Premier League like the Plutties as I think a whole bunch of people named it. Um, so it's good to see like slight differences this year. I don't think it worked though. Like the lowest rated players just won every single time, and I know I've said this multiple times as well. Uh, it's it's difficult to actually have like an in-game way to vote that isn't that isn't just like. Just a vote, you know. If, if 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 you pop up on a tab on on FIFA 19, let's say, and it just says, "Do you want to vote for this player?" Yes, or or, or vote at one of these three players. That's the only real way to do it. Uh, whilst in game and stuff, you know, give us items, and then well, we're gonna probably keep the items that are the best, even if we would prefer a better version of them. Um, and and you know, a lot of people didn't even vote. I didn't vote towards the end. I didn't see the point because it just seemed to be like the lowest rated player would always win, and, and I could find a use for the the, the 
the free pink cards that they gave me somewhere else along the line. So uh, that has actually been our Roman Alessandrini. Is he the GOAT? Well, he's super up there with a lot of other crazy players. The French players this year have been nuts. Uh, I do hope you have enjoyed the squad builder. If you have, hit me with that thumbs up button. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel if you're new. Most importantly, I hope you have a lovely day and I'll catch you next time. Peace.